The Secret of the Crystal Cave Chapter 3 The Floating Island After leaving the world of eternal autumn, Ava and Max found themselves stepping through the next portal, which opened up into a realm unlike any they had ever seen. They were on the first of many floating islands, adrift in a vast sky filled with soft, fluffy clouds that glowed with the light of a setting sun. The islands were lush with greenery, and waterfalls cascaded into the clouds below, creating rainbows that arched between the floating landmasses. However, the beauty of this serene sky world was marred by recent turmoil. A powerful storm had wreaked havoc, shattering the bridges that connected the islands. These bridges were not just pathways, but symbols of the unity among the island's diverse inhabitants. Without them, families were torn apart, and the exchange of goods and ideas had come to a halt, threatening the island's way of life. Determined to help, Ava and Max set out to mend the broken bridges. Their journey was fraught with challenges. They had to learn to navigate the unpredictable air currents between the islands, using makeshift gliders constructed from the remnants of broken bridges and the resilient vines that grew along the island's edges. As they traveled from island to island, the siblings encountered the inhabitants of this sky world, creatures with wings of every shape and size, from the tiny, hummingbird-like flittens to the majestic sky whales that soared between the islands, their songs resonating through the clouds. Each group of beings they met contributed pieces of the bridges, along with tales of their island's history and culture. Ava and Max quickly realized that rebuilding the bridges was not just a physical task, but a puzzle. Each bridge piece had a unique shape and symbol, representing the island it came from. The siblings needed to match the pieces correctly to not only restore the bridges, but also honor the identities and relationships of the island's inhabitants. Through wit, agility, and the help of their new friends, Ava and Max began to piece the bridges back together. With each bridge restored, joyous reunions took place, families embraced, traders exchanged goods and stories, and the islands buzzed with activity once more. The siblings had not only reconnected the islands, but also woven the fabric of this community tighter than before. Their final task was to restore the main bridge that connected the central island to the outer ring. This bridge was the largest and most intricately designed, its pieces scattered far and wide. Working together with the Sky World's inhabitants, Ava and Max orchestrated a grand effort to collect the pieces. When the final piece was put in place, the bridge shone with a light that reflected off the clouds a beacon of the unity and resilience of the floating islands. As a token of gratitude, the inhabitants of the islands presented Ava and Max with a pair of feathered capes that granted them the ability to glide effortlessly between the islands. With these capes, the siblings could now explore the sky world with ease, forever bonded to this realm and its people. As they prepared to continue their journey, Ava and Max looked back at the network of bridges they had helped rebuild, a tangible testament to the power of cooperation and kindness. With hearts full of pride and the wind at their backs, they stepped through the next portal, ready for whatever adventures lay ahead. What wonders and perils would they find in the magical worlds beyond? And who was the unseen watcher, whispering warnings in the shadows? The answers lay just on the other side of the light, 